All right, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's get it on. First of all, I need an apology from those of you that reacted to my April Fool's video. All of you who didn't believe the video, it was an April Fool video, but it was a prophecy that you know a lot of us didn't know. I said, you know, I I had hands on the new Ursa 12K full frame. All right, what else did I predict? That it was uh, the same size, was the same large stuff with a little bit of tweaks. They added to it along the, the 12K came a futuristic 17k which i'm going to talk about in a second but let's let's then there was another besides the broadcast and um all the other um, you know equipment for studio stuff which i don't delve into that much the 6k uh full frame camera box camera um first of all for that we have to clap you know the bus camera is always appreciated for me, I have my issues about, about the specs. My gripe is with the resol not no no not the resolution with the dynamic range. We have been on 13 um, uh, stops of dynamic range. It's been 13 since the Pocket 4K. We had the Pocket 6K, same 13. We have the we had the 6K Pro, same 13. We had the uh, Ursa Broadcast, same 13 dynamic range. We have the 6K Studio, same 13. Um, and it's been, it's been a couple of years between those, between the products, right? And we are still on 13. Now, now the Ursa comes out with 16 stops of dynamic range commendable that's what i wanted for the 6k level as well at least a stop higher 14 at the least but it's an it's the it's to show you it's the same sensor right i know he said it um he didn't he didn't lie about that they didn't black magic didn't lie about that he said it but so there's really no motivation to sell an old camera to get the same thing in another box right all you're essentially doing is selling at a loss which you will do i am just saying my thought process and maybe it will help you okay but here's the here's the issue with that your camera is your camera right it's it may be five years old but you could still shoot the same quality as the guy who is just buying it the only problem is when you have to try to sell it you need to get you need to sacrifice some of the worth for the guy who's going to buy that from you otherwise he goes to buy the new one if it's going to be the same price that is the problem you go ahead you sell on ebay you sell at a loss um uh, of course not the amount you bought it for and some of your percentage goes to ebay or amazon or um gear focus or wherever you sell you know no matter how low their percentage is they get a commission and you lose even some more now that's business it's fair but what's the point you're going to add some of your hard-earned money add it to this one and get the newer camera which is the same which is essentially the same you are not going to get anything better no better result besides i have a box camera what am i saying that does not mean i am not trying to get the camera i might because let's face it we all go through the same mindset something well must be right with us all I care about now is, is the YouTube channel and the podcast channel. Okay, those are my two uh, babies right now. Uh, and I have all that stuff in my life that I that I spend 89% of my time taking care of. I've got about roughly about 
10% of my time to run both channels. So I really don't have time to set up the camera and, and rack focus myself and look at a monitor and come back and sit down and make sure I'm in focus and all that. That is the major reason I let go the Blackmagic camera because for what I do right now, they are not helping me. But why? the one reason why I'm still holding on to the studio 6K is because it gives me the access to Blackmagic uh, Design Sam DaVinci Resolve, the studio version, which I really need and I always want to keep. However, what I may do without, I don't know for now, but what I may do is sell this one, the studio, and add some money to get the box one, which I might keep for a lot longer and have the same access to DaVinci Resolve Studio. While I have DaVinci Resolve access, I have a bus camera now, which is a lot more friendly to rig up and take out. That's the only reason why I will get it. I'm not certain for sure, um, but I will let you guys know. Of course, I will review it on the channel if I do reach out and get it. But don't forget to apologize to me for my also prediction. For those of you who said I messed with your minds, and of course, I was trying to. But it turned out that it was true. The Ursa 12K full frame is here and it's about the same body structure. Hmm. Um, I'm excited about the Ursa. At least we got the dynamic range improvement there. It's from 14 to 16. Previous versions were 14 um, dynamic range. Great, um, great camera, great move from um, Blackmagic. I think, I think they will succeed, especially with the 17K. The 17K um, large format might work because of its features like the front, the size, uh, just like the IMAX stuff, you know. From my understanding, not, I don't know much, I don't claim to know much about it, but you know, that might help a lot more for virtual studios and actual some serious level of uh, film uh, movie production. I think um, it will finally get the attention they're looking for. I think they are set up to, to dominate the industry for the next one to two years in the movie industry, not the YouTube world still will smile at the bus camera. They might get excited for a while and then start making videos about how how boring or how uh, how boring the experience shooting with it is all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace